Hello everyone on the internet. Um, welcome back to another edition of the Flying Pigeon Inventory. I've got this exciting shot lined up. Um, I know you are all thrilled to see this. I know I am. Um, here we have some Phillips Raleigh Rudge rod type inserts and these are done with a black compound by Cool Stop. And we also have them in a salmon compound and I bought as many as they had in stock. So I've got 16 sets of these and nine sets of these. So yeah, that's something cool. Moving over to another exciting wall of small things at the Flying Pigeon Shop. Uh, we sell clean canteens now. Here we have them with the spout lip, um, bamboo caps, and then just a regular twist top cap. Here is a Brooks Proof Ride, something we get asked about a lot. We're selling these tins for 10 bucks. That's enough to last you a very long while. Um, we've got some really nice Bush and Mueller, both dynamo and battery powered uh, taillights. And then these are some old replica bullet headlamps that run off of C batteries for your old cruiser or your modern European style bike. Um, I've got a, uh, there's our child labor here. Child labor laws being violated. Um, here's a ton of repair bikes I'm going to try and scoot around. We've got a few burn helmets and just this week I placed an order for some nutcase. Um, our selection is still, it's a little sparse. I've been slow to restock because I'm quite lazy I think. Uh, anyway, there's the Burn Watts and the Burn Brentwood, and right in the middle is one of our last um, Supreme kids' helmets with the funky bow, and there's one with the skull. Uh, I'll back out of this corner I'm in, and turn around, and bam! Whoa, what's this? Uh, we've got a shiny red Linus bike, and there's my assistant, my lovely assistant. There's also a new Linus Scout, and a small size Mixty with 26-inch wheels. Uh, next to that is a single-speed Linus bike. Um, the, the Dutchie three-speed on the left is 649, the Scout is 549, I believe. The Mixed D is six something, and uh, the single-speed bike here is 409. Next to those, all of those, is a very lovely modern Gazelle Chamonix Pure. And moving back, oh, we just hit a repair bike here. Uh, moving backwards, um, we've sold a ton of Basil rear penny air baskets over the years. I mean, like a man-sized stack every month. They are one of the most popular items our shop stocks because they are inexpensive, relatively very tough, and very handy. Um, I use them myself to go to the farmer's market and shopping. So I'm really excited to expand our offerings. Of course, we carry the um, Nantucket Wicker panniers as well as Basil panniers, but this is something new from Linus Bikes. So these are $45. They're really tough rugged, rounded steel baskets made ideally for your rear rack and for shopping. Um, we've also expanded slightly our line of uh, bags that we offer from Linus. There you see the pipette in the bottom right. Um, just above them is the sack, the office bag, and then I use this myself. This little um, messenger bag uh, is one of my favorites. I use it myself. I carry two cell phones and just like kind of business paperwork. It's great. It clips onto the rear rack of a bike. Um, these range in price from 70 or 60 or 70 bucks all the way up to $95. Uh, we also carry a line of Linus bags that look like this, and these are double roll top penny air bags. These are seated atop a pair or uh, a beater bike. Uh, we've got a few of these step through and roadster models still available in three speeds. Um, there's a Pashley Princess Sovereign large size here, and uh, we just restocked some of our Brook stuff. There you can see a few of them up on the wall. Sorry, the lights in here are changed. We still still carry the Yep Maxi Easy Fit and um, just the plain old Maxi seat post mount thing. And then I'm very happy to let everyone know that there's it's just out in the dark at night. There's a Christiania uh, from Boxicles with a seven speed wheel. We've booked an order for three or four of these, so they I've been making mistakes in my ordering setup. But anyway, we've got we've got uh, three of them headed to LA that are pre-sold. If you'd like to book another one. Uh, the, we, please come in this weekend. It's going to be pretty much the last day before they actually ship and leave Boston So, to come to L.A. Uh, this is our demo bike if you want to test ride one before you actually ride it. And my lovely assistant was just cleaning that as well. We also sell some of Linus's kids' bikes, the Little Linus Dutchie. We've got the little blue Little Linus Roadsters here in the 16-inch wheel size. And there's one 20-inch wheel size left. And we've got two demo Bromptons on the floor. There's uh, the 2013 demo model, the H6 bar, and then we've got a 2012 M bar, just to give you a chance to feel the difference between the two handlebar styles. And this M bar is outfitted with a matching O bag, which I don't know if it's still available this year in pink, but in either case. Um, and then there's a point back at the cash register. We sell uh, adult candy bars. They're actually 
Well, they taste okay. they taste good. I shouldn't call them candy bars. I'm just joking. I actually end up eating more of these than I ought to because I skip a lot of meals. And uh, these pro bars are like three fifty to two dollar or three fifty to two bucks uh, each. We got them priced so with the tax. It comes out evenly to three fifty or two bucks. Great if you're skipping a meal or you're on the way home and you don't want to cook dinner and you just kind of want to get something in your belly before you rot, continue the rest of your ride. So we've been rocking those. And uh, if you come in, maybe I'll play you some music on our piano. All right, that's about all I've got for you folks. Uh, this Saturday evening, we're doing a brewery ride to the Eagle Rock Brewing Company and uh, also trying to hustle through a lot of repairs. I know this is a long video. I just have a big mouth and uh, haven't spoken in a while. So, all right, guys, if you've got any questions, info at flyingpigeon-la.com. Take care.